you guys i hope you're all doing well um i'm in quarantine i was in quarantine in my last video but i mean it's the same day i'm wearing the same stuff i'm in quarantine um coronavirus has caused me to go in quarantine i am touch wood at the moment fine um i have no symptoms but ben does so ben's also in quarantine so i'm not allowed to leave my house for 14 days which is fine because I don't want to affect anyone else if I do have anything. So yeah, anyway, quarantine is kind of driving me crazy. It's, I'm only on day three. It's currently Saturday. Good news is that I am working from home so I can do, I can, I can keep myself busy throughout the week. But it's a weekend. I'm going a little stir crazy. I haven't got a lot to do. And yeah, I thought I'd sit down and declutter my makeup, which I mean... <laughs> I've got a lot of makeup, so I thought, why not declutter it? Some of it's got to be old and gross. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I thought I could bring you along with me because why the hell not? <laughs> right. All of my links are right here, so go check all of those out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Very strange order. As I said, my mind's gone a little bit weird. I'm in quarantine. I don't know what to do. So yes, <laughs> we are going to get into this video before I sound any crazier. So right here we have our first drawer, apart from these I'll go through these at another time, but we have foundations and that, I said I have quite a lot of makeup, I mean it's all quite old, also there's not that much, I have more palettes and stuff which I probably won't go through but this stuff here, we have foundations, I mean these two here are completely and utterly old, these are the Rim Wake Me Ups, they're old and dead and I don't need them anymore. So we'll get rid of them. Revlon Colour Stay, also very old, definitely not in my colour, so we should probably get rid of that as well. <laughs> Makeup Forever HD, not that old, still use it, so that's staying there. I mean, gross. I'm not even going to explain. This is the Makeup Forever face and body. This is my favourite, but they've gotten rid of it. This doesn't exist anymore. Colour pop, no filter stick, only used once. Not that old, I'll keep it. Number seven, beautifully matte foundation. I don't wear matte foundations anymore. That's gone. Colour pop, no filter foundation. I mean, it's light, but I haven't used it that much, so we'll keep it. Bobbi Brown skin foundation. I'll keep it. <laughs> Stila, I mean it's separated but does that mean it's gone off? I don't know, this isn't very old we'll keep this one <laughs> Cover FX custom cover drops again, not very old, so I'll keep those Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid very old and never wear so I mean I have other foundations in here so I'm going to put these in here as well so I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation um I only bought this not too long ago so I'm going to keep this and it doesn't actually fit in there as well and then the Estee Lauder Double Wear favourite well it used to be favourite when I used to go out a lot so that can stay so then back here we have primers Next Angel Vell, very old, didn't actually find it that good, so that's going as well. Matte Prep and Prime, uh, it's a little sample, so we'll get rid of that one as well. Too Faced Shadow Insurance, still some in that, quite like it, so I'm going to keep that. And then the Urban Decay Primer Potion, going to keep that. Uh, powders, all of those I want to keep. Uh, I've got the Kat Von D Lock, Lock Powder, I don't know. Bare Minerals Mineral Vel Makeup Forever Professional Makeup and the Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder. We'll keep those. And then concealers. We yeah, have Laura Geller The Real Deal Serious Coverage. I mean, I might need this one day, so I'm going to keep it because never know when I'm going to need a high coverage concealer. The Bare Minerals Well Rested Eye and Face Brightener. I mean, Hi. this is old. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, it's not bad, I'm going to keep it, and the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer can go in the bin. 
So now we have the next drawer. Um, I actually went through this, I think, when I did my makeup collection, so there shouldn't be too much in here that I need to get rid of. Okay, powders in here, all of those are gonna stay. Uh, brow products. Uh, Anastasia Powder Duo, I'm gonna keep that one. Maybelline Tattoo Brow, I haven't actually used that, so I'm gonna keep that. And then the Chella Brow Defining Gel, I'm gonna keep that. And then the PS Brow Gel, I've had this forever, it should go in the bin. <laughs> Okay, as for highlighters, we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Quartz. I've literally only just bought this, so I'm definitely keeping this. <laughs> we have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter. This is in Summer Snow Cone. It's definitely not my favourite. I mean, it's gold, uh, and it's not actually that great either. So, I don't know whether I got a bad one or what, and it's not that great. I might actually flatten out. I'm going to keep this. Why not? Benefit What's Up mini sample. Gonna get rid of that. <laughs> we have the Becca. Oh, that is cracked. That's going in the bin. <laughs> That's a mini uh, skin perfector in opal. I then have the liquid version. This isn't very old. Haven't worn it very often, so I'm gonna keep this. I've got a mini sample of the Cover FX. Uh, Highlighter, <laughs> gonna keep this. Then these two makeup obsession highlighters can go in the bin, and I'm gonna also keep my benefit eye beam. So, yes. On to bronzers, the Bourgeois Paris ones that are great for about a week, and then they go minging and you can't actually say that. That one's fine again. We're gonna keep this one. This one's minging. See all that? Gross. It can't be used. There's like no colour that comes out of it. So that can go. The Colourpop Press Powder Face. Oh, I didn't realise I used this that much. I'm gonna keep it there. PS Contour, the Primark Contour and Highlight Kit can go in the bin because I mean, I'm never gonna use that. The French Connection shimmery bronzy thing. I am not going to use this, so I'm also going to throw this in the bin. This is basically just making room so I have an excuse to buy more makeup. Right, so for blushes, I don't wear blushes, like ever. So we have the Milani blush in Berry and More. I mean, this is a very, very pretty blush. I've had it for ages though, and I don't wear it, so I'm gonna bin this. <laughs> Number seven blush, haven't used. Sephora color blush, haven't used. Dandelion is my favorite blush of all time. Obviously, I'm gonna throw that out. Benefit California, that is way too dark. I'm gonna throw that out. The Rockator, again, I don't wear blushes, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then the Laura Geller uh, blush and brighten in berry is actually not that dark so I might keep that one. Wow I'm getting rid of a lot here. <laughs> on to the next one I'm gonna move you down. Okay so on to this drawer down here that you can barely see I apologize. We have over here are mascaras that I have not used so they are not being thrown out because I haven't opened them yet. Then we have two mascaras here we have the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black and the Max Factor False lash effect, they are going in the bin, they are way too old. I also have loads of other makeup sprawled around, so I have this whole makeup bag here, which is my dailies, my, my daily uses, and the things that I know that if I take away, so if I go away on holiday, I can just take this bag and I have everything that I need with me. So most of my makeup is in here, but this is all my stuff that I use every day. Um, then we have glitters, which I mean, fan dabby dozy they're glitters. They can stay, I suppose. However, don't really know what I'm going to do with the glitters. So then we have eyeshadows. All of these three Colourpop ones are new. I still haven't used them, but they're going to stay. I then have this 
Manakadar Beauty Diamond Dust. It's sealed. It hasn't been used. That can stay there. The number seven stay perfect shade and define in blue. I mean, I'm never going to use that, so that's going to th be thrown out, I think. Uh, we have the Stila Shadow and Kitten. I'd never ever use this. That's going. I have two single number seven shadows. I'm going to give these to my mum because she'll like these and I won't use them. And then we have the MAC Quad. I mean, MAC shadows are pretty rubbish. So, I mean, I'm going to keep it just on the fact that that's an OG, OG palette right there. But I mean, they're rubbish. I never use them. So then we have eyeliners over here. We have a ton of eyeliners that you can see now there. So I have this Maybelline gel liner, which I mean, as you can see, I've used maybe once. Well, I tried to use it. I can't use eyeliners, so that's going in the bin. I have a sample of the Benefit They're Real. I mean, I've never tried this, so I'm gonna keep it because I've never used it, so why not just keep it? Have the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Again, never used it, I'm gonna keep it. The Stila Smudge Stick. I mean, I used to use this all the time, but from what I can remember, it's not that good, so it's gonna go out. The stay, the number seven stay perfect liner. Oh, that is silver. Bye bye. The Ico skinny black liner. I have two. They can stay. The again a number seven stay perfect liquid liner. I mean, I am never going to use that, so that can go as well. I mean, we have this silver glitter thing that is probably about 40 years old, so we're gonna throw this in the bin as well. This nude scandalized pencil is again about 40 years old. That can go, same as this blue random Rimmel one. Bye bye. I then have a sample of the tattoo liner, that's gonna stay. I have the Sephora eyeliner pencil in yellow. I mean, that can stay because it's not well, it was kind of new. Again, that's another Sephora pencil in purple. That can stay as well. Two Colourpop cream gel liners in Mr. Bing. They can stay because I like these. Then have a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. The, I mean, these are the best eyeliners in the world. I wear the black, the brown one all the time. These are the best. It's in my normal makeup bag, but best eyeliners ever. And then I have a number seven Stay Perfect pencil and a Smashbox pencil. I'm going to keep the Smashbox one. I'm going to give the number seven one to my mum because I've never worn it. So she can have that. And that's that drawer done. I mean, this really is it now. I'm not going to go through my little plastic drawers, but in terms of what's in my main makeup, this is the last of it. And I did actually go through all of this before I did my makeup collection because I had tons and tons and tons of lipsticks in these holders but they all went off. So the only things that I'm actually going to be looking at are lip liners which are these ones here. So I have this MAC one in Boldly Bare, this MAC one in Nice nice and Spicy, these are going to stay because uh, I like those. Then we have this Kiko one that I mean can go in the bin. We have this num uh, natural collection lip liner. I mean, I'm going to keep this in case I ever need a red liner. I mean, I would say I never wear deep colours, but I've actually got one on today, so this might come in handy. Oops. Uh, I've got uh, two Primark ones that are trash and can go in the bin. I've got another Kiko one, which is trash and can go in the bin. I mean, I have an eyeliner in here, a number seven eyeliner. That can go in there. Oh, I have an MUA lip color and a Miss Sporty lip pencil. I mean, these are, again, very, very old. They can go in the bin. Um, my EOS lip balms really need the bin. They stink. Bye bye. They are very old. 
So I'll actually go through, I'll go through all of this, you know, because why not? I mean, there are all things in here that I don't want anymore. Where's the best view? Ooh, my camera just turned. <laughs> okay, so we have this PS tinted lip oil that is not this colour. It's gone off. That can go in the bin. We have this little tart, tartiest lip gloss that I actually really like. This Maybelline one can go in the bin. So can these Tanya Burr glosses. Those are rubbish, so they can literally go in the bin. I have two NYX Butter Glosses which are decent so they can stay. I've got a Benefit Dandelion one that can stay, a number 7 one that can stay. This French Connection one is rubbish so it can go in the bin. This one might smell now. Yep, that can go in the bin. This is a L'Oreal one. Bye bye. Oh, and then this Stila one can stay. In terms of liquid lipsticks, I never, ever, ever wear liquid lipsticks, so this is going to be fun. Okay, so I have three NYX soft matte lip creams. They can stay because they're decent. Um, I have this MUA Luxe Velvet Lack. Uh, that can go. Uh, Rimmel Apocalypse can go. Laritzy one, never used, so I'll keep that. Then got a PS one, I mean that can go. This Revlon one's also decent, so I'm gonna keep this. Um, and then these three sleek ones that I've never ever used can stay because I've never used them. Um, all of these lip balms here can stay, all of these lips lipsticks can stay because as I said, I recently went through these. So yes, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want me to go through my everyday makeup and the makeup that's left in my little white boxes, then please let me know. But yes, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.